Hey guys, Karen here with White's Creative Designs. Welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Um, today I'm going to be making a sunflower out of a jar ring and lid, a skewer, fabric, and hot glue. So y'all some come on in, join me, and let's make a um, sunflower. I made one of these on my Facebook page the other day, and it turned out so cute. So I wanted to come over and get um, put it on my YouTube as well. So um, I just cut my fab fabric pieces. I didn't really measure. I just they're probably about seven inches um, is what I did. I just folded the fabric four ways and cut. <laughs> they're about seven inches long. So. Depending on what size you want your sunflower, um, I, the other one I did, I had the fabric much longer, and it was too big, and I had to cut a lot off, so this one, I'm going to make them a little smaller and see what we think, but I just fold the fabric in half, the little strips, they're about an inch long, and I don't cut them, I just cut a little slit and rip, and it tears and gives you like a little edge that's really cute, so... And I go in, and this is the little tricky part. Let's see if my glue tool is. It was much easier with the longer strips. <laughs> but just take your glue tool and put a little dollop of glue on there and slide that over. All that does is prevent it from sliding around. Once you get a bunch of these on, it can cause it to slide a little bit, and that just prevents it from doing that. I think it was easier. I tried it a couple of different ways when I did it over at Face Up on my page at Facebook, um, but I thought it was easier to put the glue on after I had this threaded over. Just put it on, y'all. That's like feeding a baby, y'all. Yeah. Hold your mouth open. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is going to be a long day. Yeah. Um, you can make it with the larger um, lids, the wide mouth lids. It'll take a lot more fabric, but I think it'll be cute. I'm actually going to try a different center for the sunflower than I did the other day, but I'm going to show you what I used um, to make the other one when we get these on. But you see how pretty that's coming along? And when you get it on the back of it, looks almost as pretty as the front. So, let's see. This is what takes the longest. I know it's boring. We'll hurry. You do want to leave your fabric a little loose um, when you slide it because if you don't, then you'll have more glue on top of your fabric. And, you know, the glue always looks so e when it's like that. So, when it gets into the fabric, you can kind of always tell it's there. I do think that it would be cute to take the fabric and maybe grunge it up, maybe coffee stain it or something. That would be really pretty to give it a more natural look. These are pretty cute, though. And the good thing about sunflowers is they're kind of like a not a seasonal thing anymore. People use sunflowers. That one's much shorter. I'm going to take it off. I don't know how I got that really short one. We'll use it for something else. But let's pull it off right quick. Look under. I had a couple of pieces left from when I cut yesterday, so that must have been one of them. We're back to the longer ones. The glue pen works great for this. Yesterday when when I did the other one um, on Facebook, it, I couldn't find my glue pen. We went camping over the weekend 
and I took a bunch of stuff that I had plans to do, but never did, and so it had fallen out of my bag because we had a horrible storm when we were coming home from the beach, and I'm sure our camper was going all kind of crazy ways, but anyway, the wind was blowing really, really bad. The strings, you can kind of de-string it um, as you're going, or you can do it when you're finished. If they're really bad, I'll do them now, but most of the time I just wait. But anyway, back to my story. I guess my bag toppled over, of all things, my little craft bag that I had carried. So I um, thought I got everything, but this had fallen back up underneath the table, so. And your tails won't all be the same, and that's okay. Um, one will be shorter than the other, and to me, that's what makes it look so cute, is that all of the petals on your flower won't be exactly the same length. They'll be, like, different lengths. And if you don't like some of it, you can, um... Go in and trim it up. My one track mine was going, y'all. <laughs> but see how cute that is looking? Let's get the rest of them on right quick. I keep going for my glue tool before I... And I know there's another name for that, but... Some platforms don't like it, so I just have made it a rule of thumb to try and use glue tool versus the other. You never know. If y'all were... When y'all watch, y'all make sure to hit the subscribe button and jump on. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff over here. I've been doing a lot of just Facebook stuff and not really adding much to my YouTube channel, but I'm going to start adding more over here and hang out with you guys some. And just remember, loosen your fabric up just a little bit and then make it tight. Once you cinch it down, you don't have to worry about it um, getting loose again because it's got that glue on it. I would rather have these fabric strings any day of the week, y'all, than a um, hot glue string. Good grief, those things are a nightmare. I was telling somebody the other day, I went out in the morning to feed, uh, to um, walk the dog, and I noticed that our shrubs had all kind of spider webs in it. It looked like they were already decorated for Halloween. All of those holidays are upon us. I'm just sad summer's leaving. It's been a hot summer, but I'd rather have a hot summer than when the cold, cold winter that we normally are having, which we don't really even have cold weather, y'all. <laughs> I'm in South Carolina, <laughs> but it's cold to me. I do not like cold weather. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I, all y'all in Minnesota and Michigan and all these places that are that get lots of snow and all y'all are probably thinking, that girl is crazy. <laughs> oh, gosh. But it is cold. Ooh. Just chew you to the bone. We had no snow last year. I know y'all that had tons of snow probably... Um, are like, oh my gosh, and she's complaining about cold weather, but it was so cold. We just aren't used to having cold weather like that. Oops. So, then we went through a period of having nothing but rain and then no rain. It just can't, Mother Nature can't make up her mind where she wants to do.
we have a hurricane making landfall down at Florida right now. I'm as we are as I'm doing this, so I'm my thoughts and prayers are with all those people. They say even by the time it gets to Georgia, it's going to have hurricane force winds. So if anybody watching has in, been impacted by that, my prayers are with you all or have family members. Just, that's the worst part. And guys, the rings and stuff that I'm using, that's just an old rusty ring. There used to be a spaghetti sauce or something that I got that had those type lids, and I would just save them. The one that I've got here is a new one, but I think I got a box of them at the Dollar Tree, super cheap. But the little ring is um just one off of an old spaghetti jar. So... You are, if you just save those little things like that, you can be really crafty with them and make cute stuff for your house. Because if you went to one of the big box stores to buy something like this, you would probably um, pay a good bit for it. But you can make it yourself um, for just a few dollars. And the fabric is just a gold fabric. I actually got it in the remnant section at Walmart. They have like little fabric remnants. Um, if they just have a little bit left on the spool or something like that, they'll cut it. And most of the time it's about a yard. You could pro I mean, it really wouldn't take it, depending on how many of these you wanted to make, but you could make a good many of them with a yard of fabric, so, because you cut it down, so. And I don't know how long my fabric was, but each little strip. See, that's what I'm talking about. You see how that glue kind of came over top of the fabric? So I'll loosen that up a little bit because I want it to sit on top. I don't want it to sit underneath. I'm gonna pull him off the track again. glue off of it. For those that watch me on um, Facebook, you know Karen and a glue tool are not friends, so um, the glue pen has been much better <laughs> than the um, larger glue tool. Not my friend. Kyle, I burned myself so bad. I was in an event um, last year. It was right around Christmas time. And I was doing a string angel. And I was putting the hair. I was just doing like the Spanish moss hair on the little angel. And I thought I had enough of the moss on to just be able to shake, to like squeeze it with my hand and then just shake it off. But there was a little bit that seeped through and y'all, it got me. And I thought I was going to pass out. It hurt so bad because <laughs> I just had that in the palm of my hand. I was like, oh, and it burnt my finger so bad. I probably had third degree burns on that finger, but it was not fun so i went for the longest time without using it and then i found the little glue pen and if y'all have not got one of those you and you use um a glue tool at all that's your friend especially for little small projects like this because that other can get real cumbersome and be hard to to work so And if your fabric slips a little bit before you cinch it down, just pull your tails together and it will pull it a little bit more even. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it close. I 
I don't know how our center is going to turn out for this one, but we're going to try it. Like I say, I used fabric yesterday and then um, embellished it a little bit with a piece of ribbon. But today, I'm going to do something different. So, we got maybe two or three more of these to put on and then we will be going to the center. And I'm gonna show you a cute little way to do these, um, the center too, to where you don't have to really buy a lot of stuff. Um, I know a lot of these tutorials will tell you, oh, you need polyfill for the center and all of that stuff. And I'm, I'm not gonna go buy a big bag of polyfill cause that stuff's expensive. But I will tell you that if you do need polyfill, don't go buy a bag of it. Just go buy you a cheap pillow at Walmart that has the polyfill stuff and, and you got your polyfill. You don't have to buy that big old bag of it that costs a lot. Last time I, and I'm pulling mine tight in there because I want them to be, that one looks shorter, because I want them to be snug. And that's another one of those short pieces. I don't know where those come, are coming from. I told y'all that other one looks shorter. Let's see if we can get in here before that glue gets too. All right, so, so far that's what we've got. That's the front. That's what the front will look like. And we're I gonna- I didn't get that. Could you try again? I didn't talk to her. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. Me either. Anyway, there's our front. And see, so you've got these longer pieces and we will like trim that up a little bit. But here's the back, y'all. Look how pretty that is. So you could do it either to the front or to the back. But what I'm gonna do right quick is get my scissors and kind of trim it up just a little bit. And get all my tails pulled around. And I'm not gonna trim perfect. I'm just going to pick up the ones that are a little bit too long and just give it a little bit of shape. And the ones that you do trim and if I've got some long strings on an end, instead of cutting the whole end, I'm just gonna cut some of the strings. Cause I do wanna de-string it a little bit. Some strings I can handle, but I don't want them to be like going all across it. And like I say, you can play with it and like the, where the, you put the pieces together, just take them and you can pull them apart a little bit. And that will also give your flower a little bit more fuller look. You see how I just filled it in right there. All right. So let me clean up all my strings and we'll do the center. All right, yesterday I painted it, um, but today I'm not gonna paint this part of it because I don't think, oh, I might see it through there. I don't think I will by the time I get through. If we do, then I will, but um, I'm just gonna leave that. But this is just a piece of burlap fabric, and do you see that it's got like the little gold fleck in it? Um, but I don't want it to be gold, so... What I'm gonna do is just take a 
plate and I'm going to take a pen and I'm just going to draw a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect just to kind of give myself a So I haven't used this type of center yet, so. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not ever going to, to know. But I don't want to use just the burlap. I think that would be cute behind it. I'm going to paint the burlap just a little bit with a little bit of brown and a little bit of black paint. So, instead of pouring it out, I'm just gonna pull the lids. And I'm, I will use my lid as a, and I'm gonna dip in both. We'll use the lid as the mixer. And I'm going to take a good bit of my paint off because I don't want it to be really bright on there. I just want to give it, I want to tint the burlap with the brown and the black just a little bit and give it kind of a, just a little hue of color. Oh, too much. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to go, my lines are going um, straight across and I'm going to go on a, di a diagonal with this one. And I'm just holding the brush on the chisel. I am going to take just a little bit of cream. I think I got some cream here. I'm going to put just a tiny bit there. I didn't wash my brush or anything. All right, we'll see how that looks. I'm going to, since I got all this paint on here, I'm gonna just cover that over. And I'll have to hit that with a dryer, I'm sure. Smooth it out. A baby wipe when you're painting is your best friend, just so you know. All right, so let's put our lids back on our paint and we'll see if we got enough. While we're doing, let's let that dry a minute. I got one more step that I want to do. I'm going to put it on the skewer because I want to put it in like a little display. So what I'm going to do is I've got some green fabric to make our leaves. So I am going to just put just a little bit of the green out and I'm going to paint my skewer green. I wish I had a piece of foam. I don't have a piece of foam with me. This is just a little makeup wedge. I'm 
much easier than using a paintbrush. I'm going to lay this to the side over here and let it dry. We'll just drape it across our plate. Now, I'm going to dry this right quick, and then I will show you my little secret to keep from having to buy all that polyfill or the pillow. Anybody guess what I'm going to use? So that's brown. You don't have to do that because you won't really see it. Um, actually, I'll probably tint what I'm fixing to do next just a little bit. But instead of going and buying a whole big bag of polyfill, most everybody has a cotton ball. So um, if you don't have a cotton ball, do you have a bottle of aspirin in your medicine cabinet that still has the cotton in it? Same thing. You can use fabric scraps. Um, whatever you've got, you can use. But the cotton ball works perfect. The only thing you need to do is just fluff it up. Just take your fingers and pinch it and pull. Because we just want to fluff it up. This is going to make our center fluffy. And just figure out where it's going to go. And I have a sweet friend, after I got burned so bad, my sweet, and y'all see all the glue on that that would normally be on my fingers. My sweet friend, Miss Carolyn, sent me this, and I have been so thankful for it because I have used it so much. Alrighty, so I am going to take, I got strings everywhere, y'all. I'm going to just Okay. So then I'm just going to take my little cotton and I'm going to just position it right inside there. And then just mash it down. Make sure it's all sticking on the bottom. And here's where I might take some of that. Let's do this one some of this brown paint and I may just dust the top of that cotton with it just to take some of that whiteness away from it because it actually may show through the burlap just a little bit. Okay. And if it shows through a little bit, it's not, not the end of the world. But like I say, I haven't made one using the burlap so I'm not really certain what it's going to look like so we'll see and I'm going to hit this with the dryer just a, just a few minutes if you all make one of the sunflowers I hope you will come back and share it with me you can also make it with lots of different fabrics. I think it would be pretty using a gingham. Um, stripes would be pretty. Polka dots. You could use just about the sky's the limit, really, with it. 
you could use just about any kind of fabric and it would be cute. But I just happen to have that um, gold colored fabric and I thought, hmm, whenever you dry this, be really careful whenever you um, are finished because it gets hot. The little lid, it will get really hot. So then you're going to put your burlap over top of that and glue it down. So I'm going to turn it upside down on that. Okay, so then you have this. That's why I left it a little bit larger because you're going to put that down in the center of your little circle. And it's not perfect, guys. It doesn't have to be. And I'm just going to take the scissors and I'm going to make little slits. But don't go all the way to the jar lid. Stay back from your jar lid just a little bit because you don't want to go all the way in that far. You want to stay back. And with the burlap, you may, it wouldn't hurt to cut it just a little bit larger than what I did, just to give you a little bit more wiggle room because burlap does unravel. And then just fold those over. This little tool comes from the Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, that's where you can find that little tool. I'm just putting the glue on the seal and out just a little bit. You can always cut a piece of fabric, and I'll show you on the one that I already have done in just a few minutes. You can cut a piece of fabric and um, put over the back to hide the back if the back of yours will be seen. Because if you put these in like a tablescape or something like that, you would probably see it. So you would want to cover the backs of yours. Using the little silicone um, tool it helps so much because you can just kind of get in there and give it a, a mash down and you see all the glue that gets on there it's better for it to be there than on your hand <laughs> every day This little burlap that I got that has a little gold fleck in it, I got it at Hobby Lobby when they had the 40% off sale. So, and that's one of the things to look for when those stores have those sales. Okay, so it gives it just a little bit of dimension. And I'm going to come across with a little bit more paint on the top because I want mine to have a little bit more striping than what that does, so... I'm just going to put some out on my plate. Massage it into your bristles a little bit. Squeegee it off.
so I think I'm going to go into the black a little bit, but I want to tone the black way, way down. You can, like I say, you can still see those gold flecks, so that makes it really pretty. But you see the center now? Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let's move all of our stuff over. Here is our flower. I'm going to dry this right quick, just a little bit. It's not super wet, but I don't want it to come off on my sunflower. You could actually, if you wanted yours to be just a little bit fluffier, in the center, you could put two cotton balls on there, and it would work really good. So, you can put it on the back like it was intended, or you could put it here. Whoopsie. Put it here and see it through that way. I'm going to do it the other way just because that was the way I liked it, so... But you can do it however you want. I'm going to just take my glue and just go around the edges. Because once you get all this fabric on here, the um, lid doesn't fit super good on the inside. So... Just place a little string of that. Put our lid on. All right, so while we're letting that dry and set up a little bit, I'm going to come over and we have our little skewer and I'm gonna put one more coat of paint on it just to give it a nice little coat. And it doesn't matter about the very end because the very end of it is going to go into a um, piece of foam or a vase. I hadn't decided which I'm gonna use. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You just want enough to where you can't see the color. Okay, let's give this a little dry. You could also, before you put all of your backing on there, if you wanted to hang the sunflowers, you could put a piece of jute string around and tie it and it would cover up and you would never see it after your petals came across it. So that would be an option too. So let's see, what do I want to be my top? I think we're gonna go right here. So this is gonna be the top of my flower. What you could do at this point is you could take a piece of brown fabric um, and make a circle and cover your back if you wanted to. Or you could go ahead and put your um, skewer on and then do it. I did mine after I put my skewer on. So I'm just gonna make a really thick line of glue and 
and then I'm going to just set my glue stick and I like to roll mine just to kind of give it that little bit of extra because what I'm going to do is come in right on top of where I put that and just come in a motion to fill it in The larger um, glue tool would be helpful for this part, but honestly, the benefits of not getting burned. <laughs> oh, me. Alrighty. So we are going to let that dry for a little bit, and I will go ahead and cut us a bag. Like I say, when you do that, you've got all these little tails that you could actually use to stuff your piece with if you wanted to. So, and I don't have my circle anymore, but I got this little one here, so I'm just going to use it and just draw a little bit larger than the circle. And just come in and cut this piece and like I said the fabric super easy to tear I'll show y'all how I did that before we go if anybody is wondering because sitting and cutting all of that fabric would be a nightmare Got this green I'll show you on the green because I think I've got a tail actually started on that just cut the little slit in your fabric you see how I've cut that just cut a little slit you don't even have to cut it down that far just give it a little snip at the top and just take it and hold both sides and just pull and it gives you a nice straight edge so for the little leaves that I'm gonna put on it I did those more like a half inch so if you accidentally cut it too much and you need it smaller no worries just cut that about in half and give it a tear so that's all you have to do for that Alrighty, get our glue strings, I mean our um, fabric strings. Alright, we're just about dry, so I'm going to take my back and go ahead and get it on. So I'm just going to put my glue all the way around. And then I'm even going to come into the inside a little bit. And it doesn't always, it doesn't hurt to put a little bit more around where your stem is, just because you want to make sure that that's going to be super secure. And you will need your um, silicone tool to press all this in because it's going to be very hot through that fabric. And just give it a little push down all the way around. And if you have some that comes out, just 
let it cool a little bit and then just try to tap it with your finger and roll it off. So that's what we've got there. Let's trim a few strings. And then I'm going to take my little tails for my um, leaves. And I'm going to tie one on first. dollop of glue in there because I don't want it sliding all around on my sunflower. So that's the reason I'm gluing it. Once it's down, I want it to be down. Let's make it tight. I'm going to come across the opposite direction and tie this one. Again, put my piece of little dot of glue in. And then you can kind of trim these if you want. If I trim them, this is what I do. I will take my finger because I want it to have that edge and just kind of give it a little pull because if it's got like a little straight edge on it, it's going to not look right, right without everything else being frayed. So you can fray it out just by giving it a little tug. So here is our little sunflower made from a mason jar lid ring. Let's cut a little bit off right here. Just pull my edges. So what do y'all think? Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about it. And um, definitely, if you decide to make one, let me know. But here is the one that I made the other day, and I'll show you what I used. It also is from one of the little smaller, but you see how much larger it is than this one? But I thought that would be super cute. I'll just stack my um, foam and have it larger. And like I say, I think that it will be cute to do the centers are different this is the one we did today and this is the other one i used that is the brain the brown fabric that i used on the back and then i just took a little piece of this ribbon that you get at um hobby lobby and used it but super easy just cut the circle and glued it right around the edges and put it on it does still have the um, cotton ball in it as well so but super cute but while we're doing while we're here let's do this let's try and stain a piece of this fabric that I messed up and see what we think about it and this is how I make stain you can make coffee grunge if you want um, that is definitely a great way to do it this is just my dirty water <laughs> dirty paint water works and to make stain, I just go into my brown paint with my water. It's just brown acrylic paint, but I want to get a lot of that off. I don't want to go into my fabric with it, and I'm just going to paint some of that in. Oh, y'all, that's gonna be that's cute. See, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some on one of them. Let's see. It can't do any. We'll do the back first. I'm not being brave, y'all. I'm not being brave. I think 
it's cute. We're going to do the front too. I think it takes away a little bit of the new look from it. I like it. You see how? Just a little bit. It's not really, it's not a lot. And like I say, I'm just watering down that brown paint, so it's going to be not much at all to it. Once I get everybody de-strained, we'll be, oops, I went in the green paint. You gotta be careful not to do that. I'll go around the little buttons up here. I love the gold in the center. That's really pretty. And I think that in just the right light, if you put these near like a window or something, I think that you would really, really be able to see um, the gold shining there. Maybe just a little bit more brown paint because I've watered it down, so I'm not really getting any any brown out of it anymore. So cute, y'all. And if we're going to do that, we got to grunge up the leaves a little bit too, right? And if you got too much in a spot, you could always go back in with some gold paint. I'm really happy with that, though. Once I get everything de-strained, we'll be good to go. All right, guys. Here are our sunflowers. If you want to see how I made this one with the center, make sure to go over and check out my Facebook page at White's Creative Designs. Um, here on YouTube, make sure you go and hit the um, subscribe button so you get to see more of the things as I go live. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, guys. You have a great day. Talk to you soon.